हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ अमृता पाटील लेक्चरर ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स डिपार्टमेंट अरिहंत आर्ट्स कॉमर्स अँड सायन्स ज्युनियर कॉलेज बावधन पुणे टुडे आय एम हिअर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू एक्सप्लेन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंटेल एट झिरो एट सिक्स फॅमिली दॅट इज द एक्स एटी सिक्स फॅमिली फर्स्टली विल वी लुक इन टू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एट झिरो एट सिक्स मायक्रो प्रोसेसर द एट झिरो एट सिक्स मायक्रो प्रोसेसर इज अ सिक्स्टीन बेट मायक्रो प्रोसेसर चिप डिझाईन्ड बाय इंटेल बिट्वीन अर्ली नाईन्टीन सेवन्टी सिक्स अँड मिडल ऑफ नाईन्टीन सेवन्टी एट द इंटेल एट झिरो एटी एट रिलीज्ड इन द इयर नाईन्टीन सेवन्टी नाईन द प्रोसेसर यूज्ड इन द ओरिजिनल आय बी एम पी सी द एट झिरो एट सिक्स गेव राईज टू द एक्स एटी सिक्स आर्किटेक्चर विच इव्हेंच्युअली बिकेम इंडियाज Uh, which eventually became intel's most successful processors the primary objectives of these 8 x86 families are increase in the memory addressing capacity increase in the execution speed will be looking further how the execution speed is increased provides a powerful instruction set facilitating programming in high level languages it functions in multi processor environment Next we'll move towards Intel 8086 8088 features. The first feature is it is a 16 bit microprocessor. 8085 microprocessor was 8 bit microprocessor. Next feature is 40 pin DIP package. Next is capable of addressing 1 megabyte of memory. Its address bus is 20 bit that is 2 raised to 20 is 1 megabyte. Clock frequency is from 5 megahertz to 10 megahertz 8 bit external data bus is present it operates in two modes that is minimum mode and maximum mode next is 8088 and 8086 are identical in internal architecture but only the difference is in external design power and clock are identical to that of the 8085 processor signals from for multi processor environment Data bus and status signals are multiplexed with the address bus to increase the memory capacity. 16 data lines that is AD15 to AD0 are multiplexed. Next we can see the Intel 8086 architecture. The architecture includes ALU that is arithmetic logic unit, flags, general registers, instruction byte queue. segment registers here you can see the block diagram of 8086 in this block diagram you can see there are two sections the first section is ei that is execution unit and eu and biu that is bus interface unit in execution unit you can see there are three units general registers operands alu and there is flags present over here in biu bus interface unit you can see segment registers are present instruction pointer ip is present address generation and bus control and instruction queue is present one by one will be looking into the units first is bus interface unit the function of biu is to fetch the instruction or data from the memory write the data to the memory write the data to the ports and read the data from the ports so these are the basic functions of bus interface unit next you can see the instruction queue to increase the execution speed biu fetches as many as six instruction bytes ahead to time from memory all the six bytes are then held in first in first out six byte register called the instruction queue then all the bytes have to be given to the execution unit one by one this prefetching operation of biu may be in parallel with the execution operation of execution unit which improves the speed execution of the instruction so what is this instruction queue doing is it helps in storing the instructions which are fetched by the biu it stores around six instructions at a time and first in first out six 
byte register is present over here and one by one the instructions are given to the execution unit for the execution of the instructions this fetching and storing is happening simultaneously with the functions of the execution unit so the time is saved of fetching and storing Next you can see the execution unit functions. What are the functions of execution unit to tell the BIU that is bus interface unit where to fetch the instructions or data from. So execution unit is the unit which tells the bus interface unit from where the instructions are to be fetched or from where the data is to be fetched or taken to decode the instructions. So execution unit to tells the tells the decoder to decode the instructions to execute the instructions this is the important function execution unit executes the instructions the eu contains the control circuitry to perform various internal operations so whatever control signals circuitry is present that is handled by the execution unit itself a decoder in eu decodes the instruction fetched by memory to generate different internal or external control signals required to perform the operation so you can see in the diagram there is a decoder present here and in this decoder what it does is the decoder decodes the instructions fetched by the BIU that is bus interface unit and it is decoding the instructions to be executed. EU has 16 bit ALU which can perform arithmetic and logical operations on 8 bit as well as 16 bit. So in the diagram you can see there is an ALU present this is 16 bit and it can perform operations on 8 bit as well as 16 bit data. So this was about execution unit next is ALU arithmetic and logic unit it represents the fundamental building block of the central processing unit of a computer but obvious uh, an ALU is a digital circuit used to perform arithmetic and logical operations as we all know. Next is flag or status registers. The flag or status register is a 16 bit register which contains 9 flags and the remaining 7 bits are idle in this register. So you can see this is a 16 bit register from 0 to 15 bits and in this 9 flags are present and 7 are unused that is idle in this register. 6 bit data flags and 3 bit control flags are present. These flags tell about the status of the processor after any arithmetic or logical operation. So it is also named as status register. If the flag value is 1, the flag is set and if it is 0, it is set to be reset. It is the same as the 8085 microprocessor flag status. So first 0th bit is CF that is carry flag set by carry out of the most significant bit. Next d1 is unused d2 is the parity flag set if result has even parity it is reset if it is having zero parity or parity next third bit is unused fourth bit is af that is auxiliary carry flag for bcd next fifth is unused sixth is zf that is zero flag set if result is equal to zero if the result in the accumulator is zero that is set and zero flag is set 7th bit is SF that is sign flag if the most significant bit of the result is positive negative depends on the result of the accumulator. Next 8th bit is the trap flag or single step flag. Then 9th is called the interrupt enable flag. 10th bit is direction flag or string instruction. And 11th flag 11th bit is the overflow flag. Next 12, 13, 14, 15. These are undefined. Next you can see the register model of 8086, 8088, 80286. This is the register model of 8088, 8086, 80286 and this is the register model of 32 bit microprocessor 386, 486 and the Pentium. So here the you can see these are the general purpose registers next these are the segment registers and lastly there is an instruction pointer firstly we'll go to 
what is what are the general purpose registers the use of general purpose registers is to store the temporary data there are four general purpose registers of 16 bit length each each of them is further divided into two subparts of 8 bit length each one high stores higher order bits and low stores the lower order bits for example you can see ax this a, a ah and al both constitute and become ax next register is bx then bh and bl that is higher order b register and lower order b register cx similarly ch and cl dx is dh and dl so ax is 16 bit length and ah and al both are 8 bit length each the next four registers are stack pointer, base pointer, source index and destination index which are of 16 bit registers. So here you can see the in the diagram these segment registers are also uh, these general purpose registers are also 16 byte 16 bit length they are used as index registers which are not present in 8085 so this was about the general purpose registers of x86 family next are the segment registers you can see there are four segment registers in 8086 microprocessor and each one of them is 16 bit okay next you can see the names of the segment registers cs ds ss and es code segment data segment stack segment and extra segment these are combined with the memory pointers to generate a memory address so segment registers are combined with the memory pointers to generate a particular memory address ip is the instruction pointer which is same as the program counter in 8085 we had seen in 8085 microprocessor there was a program counter which was 16 bit and it the instruction pointer in 8086 acts the same as the program counter in 8085. Next you can see the comparison of 8086 with 8085 microprocessor. The first column is 8085 and next column is 8086. So 8085 was a 8 bit microprocessor as we know microprocessor 8086 is 16 bit. Address bus here in 8085 is 16 bit. Hence, it can access 64 kilobytes of memory. Here, address bus is extended, that is 20 bit. Hence, it can access 1 megabyte of memory. It provides 8 bit registers in 8085, that is A, B, C, D, H, L. Okay. In, in 8086, it provides 16 bit addresses, uh, registers, that is A, X, B, X, and so on. 8 bits of address bus 80, 80 to 87 are multiplexed over here to increase the memory capacity and here in 8086 16 bits of address bus that is 80 to 80 15 are multiplexed so as to increase the memory addressing capacity flag register is 8 bit and contains only 5 flags here flag bit flag register is 16 bit in 8086 and it contains 9 flags operates only in one mode here there are two operating modes that is minimum mode and maximum mode so this was a comparison of 8086 and 8085 microprocessor which is very important in terms of examination point of view next is comparison of major features of x86 family you can see here there are various microprocessors 8086 80286 386 486 and lastly the pentium which is used now you can see the various comparison units data bus data bus is 16 bits in 8086 and 80286 and as 386 486 came and the pentium now it is 64 bits address bus is 20 24 32 32 32 now in pentium address bus is 32 bits operating speed in terms of megahertz is 5 to 10 in 8086 6 to 20 and now it is 50 to 100 megahertz memory capacity is increased from 1 megabyte to 4 gb memory management here you can see the management of the memory circuitry memory control signals related to memory everything was externally done till 80386 but later on the memory management is internally done 
in 80486 and pentium pc type is pc xt in 8086 and in from 80286 to pentium it is pc advanced technology used math coprocessor was external previously and now in 80486 to pentium it is internally managed introduction when the microprocessors were introduced the years are given over here the pentium was introduced in the year 1993 next you can see advanced design features of pentium this is a, a very important question uh, with the examination point of view you can see here there are 5 to 6 advanced design features of pentium first is dual pipelining it has two executing units with dual pipeline the architecture it is able to execute two instructions simultaneously per clock cycle and achieve a high level of performance so there are two executing units present over here in the pentium and uh, in the designing the dual pipeline architecture is present hence the two instructions simultaneously they are executed and a high level of performance is achieved next is on chip cache memory for instructions and data so cache is a temporary small memory speed of main memory and cpu is mismatching so to compensate the high speed of memory is used to store the current programs and data to make it available to cpu with faster rate so the cache holds those segments which are frequently required by the cpu which results in best performance of the computer system so what is the use of this cache is those frequently required segments which are used by the cpu are holded by the cache memory so that cache holds those segments and gives helps in the best performance of the computer system so pentium has two 8k kilobytes of on cache memory on chip one for code and other for the data next you can see the branch prediction is one of the advanced feature this is the main frame technique implemented in microprocessor to improve the performance most likely set of instructions to be executed are predetermined using branch prediction it makes an intelligent guess of the next conditional instruction branch prediction means what this is a technique where the most likely set of instructions which are executed they are predetermined they are previously determined and they are kept in a in a way so that they are used again and again and this branch prediction it makes an intelligent guess of the next conditional instruction so this helps in the high performance rate uh, high performance floating point unit is the next feature here you can see pentium microprocessor has an on chip floating point unit that incorporates highly sophisticated seven stage pipelining and hardwired codes next is performance monitoring the design of the processor enables the user to monitor the performance of the processor so there is a performance monitoring unit present over here so that the design of the processor enables the particular user to monitor the performance of the processor next is 64 bit data bus is present in pentium it has a wide 64 bit data bus which results in high speed data transfer So this completes the introduction to x86 family thanks for watching